Hello, my name is Mr. Mingarelli, and I am a professional photographer. And today we're going to talk about one of the camera's exposure control mechanisms. So first off, what is exposure? Well, that's how we take a picture. If you imagine with me that this is my camera sensor. Now light passes through my lens of my camera and through my camera and hits my sensor and exposes my, my sensor gets exposed to light. So we get an exposure. If it's too light, that's because we got too much light, right? So if we get too much light, our photograph's too bright. If we don't get enough light, our photograph is too dark. And those are called an over and an underexposure. Now, who hasn't had, had those happen to them, right? One or both, probably both. I have as a professional. Well, there's ways we can control that. And one of the ways is through shutter speed. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys and we're gonna put some slides up there. And there we have shutter speed and the numbers and what they mean and what they do. So does anybody know what shutter speed is? Anybody? Yeah, shutter speed's how fast we take a photograph. So again, this is my camera sensor, but in front of it is a shutter. And if that shutter, when that shutter moves out of, out of the way, we get an exposure. If it's done fast, it's a fast sh ex uh, shutter speed. If it's slow, it's a slow shutter speed. And we have various numbers that represent shutter speeds so there we have them coming up there we start with 2000 we're going to 60 and then we go back to 30 all the way to 30. so it goes back to 30 how does that happen well i'll explain that in a little bit but for now i want to focus on one of those numbers and that's going to be that 2000. what does that 2000 represent is it 2000 feet per second 2000 what what does it mean anybody want to guess well yeah it's a fraction it's one two thousandth of a second yeah, we're doing math. You guys thought you were in some sort of art class, but we're doing math. I know that's math. Math is everywhere. So it's here in photography. And all these numbers are fractions, every one of them. They're fractions of a second. And then we go down there, that's 1 30th of a second, 1 15th of a second, 1 quarter, 1 half. And then we have 1 1. What kind of fraction is that? Wait a minute. That's a transition number. That 1 is a whole number. It's the number one second. And we have that second two there, that's two seconds. And then the other four is four seconds then eight seconds. And we can actually set our camera to take a picture that takes 30 seconds to take. And I'll give you an example of that as I show you different photographs with their various shutter speeds. The first one we're gonna look at is the deer we're using as, an, as the background image here. And that was taken in one two fiftieth of a second. Now, normally you want a faster shutter speed for a moving animal or a moving person, but in the dark woods, that's the best I can get out of my camera. And But the deer is a little blurred, but mostly the background is blurred. And that's okay because it's showing us motion. It's creating this feeling of motion, which you can get out of the slower shutter speeds. Now, this photograph of the bird was taken at a much faster shutter speed, which was 1 1250th of a second not a 250th, but this one's a 1250th of a second. And that bird is stopped. It's suspended in air, isn't it? Right? So this shutter speed, is, it's faster than a 1000th of a second. So it's just a little moment in time. And we can not only use fast shutter speeds for wildlife, we can use it for sports and people. Here we have a Little League baseball pitcher, and he's throwing a ball, and that shutter speed is one twenty five hundredth of a second so it's really fast as well and he stopped he's frozen if we zoom in and take a look at that ball that ball is stopped we can see the individual seams on that ball so it's really fast now the ball's a little blurry but that's not because of the motion that's because it's out of focus the boy pitching he's important so he's in focus the ball is secondary we want that boy in focus in that photograph so now I'm going to go to the other extreme. We're going to go to 30 seconds, right? This exposure was taken in a time period of 30 seconds. So we see that um, those lines on the road, those are cars that pass through the photograph in that 30 seconds. They were, they were moving too fast to be recorded themselves, but their headlights, which are white, and the taillights, which are red, are from the cars because they were bright enough to record uh, fairly quickly. And if we look up in the sky, the clouds, they're blurry. Now this was a calm night. So why the clouds blurry? Well, over the course of 30 seconds, those clouds are moving. So they get blurry. 
So there you have it. Some example of a slow shutter speed as, as well as I'm giving you some earlier ones of fast shutter speeds.